Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. This is a cool card. I don't read this card enough. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are the way you are because of what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything is, you believe is your creation. Ah, like it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 151, NASDAQ up 57, S&P's up 30, gold contract up $15.40, traded at 1933 an ounce. We got silver up 26 cents, 24 dollars 72 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $96.22 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note, trading down six ticks, 12015. 30 year up, up, down one point, plus eight ticks at 144.06 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 155 ticks, trading 99,754. Euro at 108. Yen at 124 and the British pound at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone numbers are 86, our phone number is 866 927 6648. Give us a call. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. This is going to be a rewind of yesterday, folks. Check this out. This is going to be really cool, man. We'll see if it goes up like I think it's going to go up, but here we go. Not go up. We just had the bounce, and I suspect what you're going to see here when I just did this, I'm going to show you what it, this market just did. ES. This bounce just came into the highs of yesterday with almost half the volume. So I'm going to do the S&P first, and as the NASDAQ futures first. Okay, so check this out, okay? So what we have here is this. We had, we had the two spikes yesterday, right? As soon as I come on the air, you know, the second spike, bottom line, didn't have enough volume, had the failure, okay? Now, you do the exact same thing, folks, okay? So even on the second spike, we're talking about uh, that high there was uh, 40, 44.99, okay? We're over that right now by 10 points. We're over 45.10. That had volume of 50,000 contracts, okay? So what ended up happening is that the first well, actually, oh, look what just happened in the last few minutes. No, it's still, well, it's still 49,000. Um, let me see what time it is right now. Okay, so we're at 310. Okay, so we just got volume. Different ball game. Let me see if the NASDAQ did. We, volume just came in. Look at this thing. It just came. That's pretty wild, man. Oh, let me get this. That buy just stopped. 49,900 versus 50,000. Okay, let's go to the NQs. Because when I was doing this, it looked to me like the NQs were just catching up, but I believe they were. Let me pull this bit. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Okay, so NQs, what you have here is this. The high yesterday on those NQs got up to uh, 14,453, uh, 652. And right now we have 14,600. And you this was decent volume just now because we, we got juiced at uh, that's 16,000 versus 19. Make sure of that again. Okay, 16 versus 19. Now, the question is going to be okay, so we started a new bar. So, basic, bottom line, you know, how this bar operates is going to tell us whether you go, you're going to go right back downtown somewhat or you can blow through this area. And well, we're going to be on the air, so it's a beautiful thing. Gold. Gold contract. We'll come back to that, too, as soon as we get a little more into that 10-minute bar, folks. Uh, gold. Gold contract out here. Bottom line, side, sideways move. You're up $12.5. You need more volume. That's the bottom line inside this gold market. You know, 114,000 contracts. You need, like, 200,000 contracts. We've been, go we've been going lower. It's rejected the lower price. It's rejected higher price. You, you're trading on a sideways move. Bottom line, it needs more volume, and it's going to be tough to get that when, in fact, you have the aspect of the dollar wanting to get up to this 103 area. If you take a look at the dollar, bottom line, you're going to see that swing point that's laying out there at that 103 area, 103, uh, 820. You know, you get, we had a spike high that gave it up in spades at 102. That's the last time that we actually got down to the bottom of the range. It gave it up at 102, and then 
it goes all the way back down to 89. But right now, it looks to me like it still continues to want higher price. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. They continue to want lower price, higher yield. You take a look at this 10-year first. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, we don't have a large ABC structure down because the, it broke the B point and it didn't have the volume on the break. The, the, the break, well, let me see this here. The break yesterday was 2.1. No, we do have a we do have an ABC down. Okay, so check this out. That means 117 is coming at us. The A point on this is 129. The B point is 120. You get nine bucks. You get that's oh, higher than that though. One no one one 114. We're we're at 120 right now. 114 is the A to B equals C to D because you did take out the B point. Now this is intriguing, okay? So this happens if you have time in the trade, you know how this works. The first day that we come down into the swing, you only had volume of 1.7 million. Oh, look at this, it's coming more. It was 1.76 million versus 1.77. And then yesterday, guess what? No, 2.1 million contracts. You're going south, man. And we know we're going south. I mean, the bottom line, rates are going up. Um, we're at the 2.65 right now on the 30 year. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Uh, Twitter's down 220. You got uh, HB up 535. Uh, you got uh, Buffett coming into HB. Apple's up a buck 16. You got Bank of America down 13 cents. You got uh, Pelletier flat. We get uh, General Motors uh, down 69. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, is trading up uh, 169. You get the Nasdaq up 78. S&Ps are up 36. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.